Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am showing you guys, I'm doing a video tutorial review on these Outlast lipsticks. You guys have seen these, be, these I think these have been around like forever, but I think they made a, a different, I think they changed the formula a little bit. So obviously I did some swatches right here, but I am wearing one of the colors. And if you're wondering how it feels, will it last all day? I will check in throughout the day and tell you did it stay on my lips? I'm going to put it to the, to the test, eat, drink, everything that I normally do to see if these actually last 24 hours, like it says. I don't know. But if you guys are curious, just stay tuned. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I'm going to start off. And I'm going to actually be wearing the Always Rose today. And I'm going to check in later and obviously tell you guys whether this came off or not. I am going to swatch all these other colors though in a second on my hand to show you whether they're pigmented, whether they're too drying or what. So my lips are, they have just a little bit of foundation, not very much. And let's go ahead and dive in and see what this looks like. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look at that. They have a lot of color and it is actually like, it feels like a thick, almost like a thick gel. Mm-hmm. I was totally thinking that this was going to be like super drying and hot, like dehydrating to my lip. Kind of like the, um, what is it called? The lip senses. I'm not going to touch my lips together, but you do feel it drying down, but it's not like overwhelming. I just feel like it's like, uh, when you put on a matte, uh, lipstick, how it's really like, uh, smooth and then it dries down, but it's not even like as intense as when a matte lipstick dries down. So I'm like, wow, okay, pretty cool. It comes with a gloss. This is just a plain Jane gloss. So is it dry yet? Oh my gosh, it's totally dry. I mean, yeah, I had a little glitter on my hand. Totally, totally dry. And I feel like it, it could even dry down more, but it's already dry. So let's go ahead and put the gloss on top. Yeah, the gloss gives it a little bit of hydration. But you can still feel that lipstick on your lip. Like a matte lipstick feels when it dries down. So it feels like, I don't know, I would. it feels like I have a matte lipstick on my lips. That's what the feel feels like. But... It doesn't look like that. It looks beautiful in camera and I love the shine. So let me go ahead and swatch these other ones for you. Obviously you see this one. This one is called Always Rose. This next one is called Nude Flush. I'm like, okay, that's, that's, that's a cool name. Nude Flush, which is pink, very, very pale pink. And you know what guys, it actually has like tiny reflectance of glitter or something in it but at least in the bottle it looks like that but it doesn't show up when you put it on okay look at that that's actually really pretty really pretty pink okay this bad boy next to it is called natural blush which this is more like of my everyday wear something like that i do like more of a mauve tone so natural blush and there is like that little dip let me see no, actually not a, yeah, not a dip, that little slant in the, um, in the applicator. Wow, guys, this one's really pretty. Look at that. I mean, if you like, like the mauve tones, that one is really gorgeous. Next, we're going to work. Next up is a plum, is plum berry, plum berry. You know, if you go to a holiday party, or just a party period, or even out on a first date and you're going to go eat, you do want to wear a lipstick like this because nobody likes a girl that has to keep reapplying their lips. You can even go make out with a guy if you have an all day lipstick on and look beautiful and perfect afterwards. Look at this guys. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is that plum. Wow. Okay. And we have ever red dye, ever red dye which is like, it looks like a candy apple, doesn't it? Ooh, and it goes on like a candy apple. Look at that. Freaking awesome. And the last one that I'm going to show you guys is called, 
actually, I don't know what it's called. Where's the name on this one? Oh, look. $2. Yep, that's what I get for having a best friend that is a mega couponer. She digs through all the deals for me. These bad boys are actually, so I got it for $2, which it's very rare to find something like this for two bucks, but they are normally $8.69 each. Thank you, Karen. She was, she called me, she FaceTimed me. She's like, oh my gosh, look what I found for you. Okay, so this last one, oh my goodness. That is so, that's like a, like one of those, it's like a berry red. And this just says it is, where's the name on this? 840 Signature Scarlet. Beautiful. I think these colors are stunning. Now, do they stay? I don't know. I'm going to have to check in with you guys throughout the day and tell you whether they stayed or not. But I'm like, wow, I'm loving, like loving, loving this color. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little demonstration. I will be back to show you guys whether it stayed or not. So I want to turn on the camera. This is many hours later. The lipstick is still here, but you know, the reason I think it was cracking is because I didn't exfoliate my lips before putting this on. And so I had a little bit of dry skin and look. So you see how that's white right there? That's the skin that it's softened. And a lot of times you can like, you know, bite that little skin off or it will come, you know, if it gets moist, it will, it will like wipe off with a napkin or something. I think that if I would have put it on, uh, if I would have exfoliated or cleaned my lips before putting this on, I wouldn't have any cracking because look at this. I have been very, not light handed. I've been eating and drinking all day and um, I haven't seen really any transfer. Close up so you guys can see my lips after I finished eating. You see a little bit of breakage. Right there. But it is still pretty much, it's still on. Just that little bit of cracking.